Hey guys, George here, and with another tip from the workbench. Today we're going to talk about Stay Alive capacitors. Now, of course, Soundtracks, we sell our product called the Current Keeper, and this is a product that has several capacitors that's designed to give you up to 10 seconds worth of stay alive capacity but let's say for example we're working in this model here and we really don't have room for something as large as a current keeper well this is where we need to look at what other options we have now with our TSU 1100 you get one of these small uh, 25 volt 220 microfarad capacitors that you get that you can wire up Okay guys, I do have a little sidebar here. Since I shot this last video, and we'll get back to that here in just a second, it's come to our attention that we really need to focus on the capacitor's polarity to make sure that we're matching the proper side. So when you look at your capacitor here, you'll notice there's a big white stripe with a minus sign through the middle of it. And that's how you can identify the negative terminal on your capacitor. The other side doesn't really have anything there, so that's how you can quickly identify. So as we get through this video, you'll see us build this, but the thing is, is you want to make sure that your minuses are matched together, because if you wire a capacitor backwards, you're going to damage it and potentially damage the decoder, and you could even take a chance at ruining your model. So you want to make sure to pay attention to the proper polarity of your capacitor, to make sure that the negative is wired to the proper terminal. And on our TSU 1100, the negative lead goes to the green and yellow striped wire. But did you know you can actually buy these separately, part number 810128, and you can use multiple uh, Stay Alive capacitors on your model. Now you're not gonna get the Stay Alive capacity of this. This is several farads worth of supply but when you have these these will help keep your processor and your motor and everything alive for about half a second so if you have room you may be able to put two of these in a model or three or four and spread them around now there are different ways to do it when you're looking at adding multiple capacitors you want to wire them up in parallel essentially a capacitor is parallel plates like this that store energy between the two plates so when you're adding multiple capacitors you want to do them in parallel so that you extend and you always want to make sure that the rating is higher than what your DCC track voltage is. This one's rated at 25 volts, so this will store up to 25 volts worth of power, but if you're running a 14 volt system, you can probably use a 14 or a 16 volt capacitor, but you cannot use a 12 volt capacitor because you will overcharge it and damage it. So when we look at wiring in these capacitors, there's a few different ways you can do it. So in this case, what I basically did was took two of them and soldered them end to end. And you can see that the negative stripe here is matched up together and the positive side is on the other. And so what you can do now is you can take the wires and solder them to the, where the leads of the capacitor mate on the inside of this joint. Another option you can do is you can take two of them and set them side by side. Now in this case, I simply took the excess lead of a traditional resistor and soldered them to each end. So now what I can do is I can trim these leads short and that way now when I solder the wires I can solder to here and to here and then that way now I have a small battery pack. Now on this S4 that I'm working on so you can see that right there on the capacitor to install on this S4 you can see how nice and neat it fits away and right where I need it to go and now I can just solder my wires right there where they need to be so guys I hope this has been helpful for you as a way to be a little more creative with use of capacitors now if you have any further questions or if you need assistance please email us at support at soundtracks.com and we'll be happy to help out anything you can